<laughs> Welcome to story time with Kate. Today's story is about me. A room on the broom. Room on the broom. By Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Axel Schaffler. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat. And long ginger hair, which she wore in a play. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the wind wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, they bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, said the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud <laughs> and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. of the tree with an ear-splitting shriek. There flapped a green bird with a bow in his beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her flat in a bow. I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch the broomstick and whoosh they were gone over the reeds and the rivers they flew the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew they shot through the sky to the black back and beyond the witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the wand but no wand could be found then all of a sudden from out of the pond leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand he dropped it politely then said with a crock as the witch dried the wand on the folds of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch her broomstick flew into the cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud.
am a dragon as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying high and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch. Flying down to the ground, she looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips. Mm, maybe this once I will have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feet, from out of the ditch rose the horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak with a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek, it dripped and it squelched as it strolled from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back as he started to shake. I'm sorry, I spotted I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now must fly as he spread out his wings and was off through the sea. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog, and down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, you grateful witch cried. Without you I'll be in that dragon inside. Then she filled up her cauldron, and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found the lily, the cat found the cone, the bird found the twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the dog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. The end. Thank you for listening.